Hi everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Such a beautiful day today here in the PNW. Man, I love these days. It is amazing. It's getting warm though too. Getting real warm. Matter of fact, it's actually probably about 10 degrees cooler in the shop right now than it is outside. So that's why I'm still wearing a sweater and uh, uh, keeping the door closed because it's getting toasty. So just not used to it yet, I guess. But today's video is about not the weather, but about knife makers pins. Exciting! I just want to share with you a little bit about the custom pins because I got a bunch of new ones in. So I want to share with you guys what I have right now and what I've been offering. So uh, let me grab the pins. I'll bring you over, get you a little bit of a view, and we'll take a look at these. So what I'm thinking, what might work the best is if I just show you right here because I've got them all here on the side right now. And that'll be good to go. But I'll have to get these. I got some coyotes here. I got some coyote works knives we've been working on. Matter of fact, um, Tyler has been out uh, helping a little bit here in the shop. And he actually worked on these coyotes. And I got to stay. did a really good job. I did the choils on these, but he did a really good job uh, cutting them all out on the grinder and shaping them all and uh, clamping them and getting that, that nice curve of that broomstick handle in there and the blade swoop. Really, really nice. So uh, uh, good for him. I like that. That was really neat that he did that for me. Um, so many of you might not know uh, because a lot of new people coming in, coming aboard. When I talk about knife pins, I'm not talking about the uh, uh, standard ones that you see, uh, something like this little quarter inch or um, like this one right here. I have these pins right here. These are quarter inch sticks, uh, quarter inch diameter, and 12 inches long. And these are nice, I do offer those, it's not a big, that's not an issue, but I showed those in the past. Uh, but also what I gave a brief snippet on is some of these pins right here. And these are uh, the large decorative custom pins. I call them large decorative because of course they're a decorative pin, but they're custom because most of these pins, uh, well all of the pins here were custom ordered by me. Several of these pins though were actually from previous customers that I buy the pin and then we cut a piece off and then I, I put it there. So once I've ordered your pin, if it's something that you thought would be really neat, I get it made and then I have them here. So I have extra so then I, I can use that for your knives. Um, some of the pins you guys have seen in the past, like the Warrior Poet Society pin, you've seen those. Um, I did the uh, sniper pin on Rob Turkula's um, knife from uh, Lunkers TV. I did his here. I did a knife a while back with uh, stabilized palm, and I did the Special Forces crossed arrow. Um, I haven't done any knives yet. This is the uh, uh, regimental crest from the, from the U.S. Army uh, Special Forces. I haven't done any knives on that per se. Um, you have seen knives in the past where I did with the uh, um, I got the uh, 10th Mountain Division pin as well as the uh, Army's Third Infantry Division pin. Uh, that right there, I think they call it the Broken TV or something those guys were talking about. Um, you have seen the Marine Corps pins in the past. I get it in that uh, black with nickel silver, as well as the brass and red. Uh, the red and gold is what the Marine Corps was kind of known for. Uh, I recently just got a new pin, and that was a United States Air Force pin. Really, really cool. I did this. I have a cousin that's in the Air Force, and he was interested in getting a knife made. And uh, he was talking about it, so I had the pin made up for him because I've been wanting to do, I'd like to have a pin for every branch of service, but Navy and Coast Guard's a little harder to do. Try to tie it down because I get a lot of varying opinions about that, but the Air Force one was pretty simple to sort out. Uh, some of the other pins I got, some of them are recent. Uh, actually, all three of these are recently added to the, to the collection. And I actually have a elephant head here. And this elephant head and this rhinoceros right here, uh, these are gonna be for a special knife that I'm going to be making. At the recording of this video, I have not made the knife yet. Uh, this knife is going to be an auction knife. It's gonna be really slick. It's going to have an elephant on one side of the knife and it's gonna have the rhino on the other side of the knife. And uh, it's going to be a coyote knife version. Uh, I'm gonna use that shape, but I'm gonna change a couple things out on it, but these pins will be in there. And then I have a second pit knife I'm gonna make, and I haven't uh, done much about that um, at the making of this. I still have a ton of your guys' knives there. But I have another rhino, but this rhinoceros is the actual unit patch to an organization. And that's their patch there. So I'm actually gonna make them, I think that's going to be a renegade or it's going to be a rogue. 
and it's going to have their their pin in there. Oh, and most of the pins are are brass and nickel silver or a combination of those. Um, I did actually get a couple of larger pins that were in uh, copper. And I'll put pictures in here because I don't have them anymore because actually I had those made. My dad wanted some pins. And he does walking sticks out of um, Diamond Willow. And uh, he wanted to get some nice pins made, but he didn't want the small, these are about 3 eighths of an inch or uh, um, 10 millimeters. Uh, he wanted bigger ones. So we got his, I think they're 14 or 16 millimeters. They're right around the 5 eighths of an inch uh, size, but they're a copper tube. And uh, as you'll see, they're, you know, that have copper or a mix of copper and, and silver. And one in particular was all copper with, um, you'll see this green shape. Well, that's the shape of the upper peninsula of Michigan. And uh, so he wanted that as well. And it was filled with the green uh, uh, epoxy resin. But all the pins you're going to see here, uh, except for a couple, are all nickel silver tubes or brass tubes with a nickel silver or brass decorative inside. Um, I do have a couple that I'll get to in a second here. They actually have some copper inside them. It's really cool. But this pin in particular is carbon fiber. So the outside tube is a carbon fiber with black uh, resin and the designs are nickel silver. Um, you've seen some of the Warrior Poet pins in the past. I've had uh, uh, this, the nickel silver, uh, the silver tube with the black resin and the silver uh, logo. I also have this red design right here with the uh, uh, silver logo as well. We haven't done anything with that yet, but uh, I got one of those because I thought they were really neat. And then recently we're working on a new knife design and I got these. These are about six or six and a half or seven millimeter diameter and they're carbon fiber tubes. And these again are the Warrior Poet Society pins, but you can see the, uh, uh, the, the difference between the two sizes. It's, it's quite interesting. Uh, so it was really cool, but um, we got some others in here. Uh, again, some of them you guys have seen in the past. This is that pony I did in a knife a while back, as well as uh, this one here is the, it's all silver and it's a elk in the background with a tree and a mountain. You've seen those. Um, I've added a couple of new ones here. This one I have is a, uh, um, or you guys might've seen this. This is the, it's a Northern Pike it's called, but I recently added on a largemouth bass. So I thought that was pretty cool. I actually have a special knife for this one too, but I, I can't say much about that yet. That's uh, that's going out soon. And then the nickel silver, the Spartan helmet. This is actually what got John Lovell uh, and I connected. This is he liked that pin so much. So this pin broke the ice between John and I and the Warrior Poet Society. So really go good there. Um, you guys have seen this one before. This is that bear with the copper uh, with the the, the copper f salmon uh, in its mouth as it's walking. I've done a couple of knives with that. Um, you've seen these. This is the uh, family or the, the dojo crust for my kids' uh, karate dojo there. And uh, let's see what else here. Yeah, I had a bunch of those. Uh, a couple of new ones here. These are flower designs. These are really cool because uh, this one in particular is actually uh, a couple of different pieces. But the design work to this was just amazing. And it's all nickel silver with the black fill. But really, really spectacular. I was, I was just... I was floored when I saw this, when he could, how he could do this work. Uh, and Alexi did a great job. And this is actually uh, three different metals. So there's brass, copper, and nickel silver in it to, to make this flower design what it is. Just amazing. It, I mean, it's, I'm looking to make a knife for myself with this, if anything, because I just love the design work and intricacies that he went, the steps that he was able to go to, to do that. Um, Let's see, some other ones real quick here. What do we got? Oh, we have, um, uh, yep, this one is a uh, chef's knife set. It actually has two cross knives with a uh, cleaver in the middle of it. I actually did this for, or two cleavers with a, uh, a knife in the middle, a carving knife. I did this for a YouTube channel, and I was going to make them a knife, but they have since gone ahead with a different knife company all together. So I didn't do it. I'm, I just have this uh, so I could probably put it in somebody else's knife if you like that kind of design. So it's not a big deal. It's There's no issue with them using it. Uh, this one here, I never got to do a knife for him. Uh, Dakota Meyer with, uh, uh, if you know him, former Marine stuff, own the dash. Him and I were talking a little bit and then we just kind of just dropped communications. He got busy or something. So I got his pin. I was going to make a knife for him and see maybe we could do something, work together. Uh, I think you guys have seen these. These are the uh, um, this is a, a Bible with a sword, as well as a shield and cross. Uh, a little bit more of the religious aspect, if guys like that. I like the uh, sword and the Bible myself. I'm going to probably do that in one of my own knives. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, yep. Can't. Uh, well, 
Some of you guys might recognize this pin, but I, I don't know if I can show it just yet because this is a really kind of, yeah, I gotta wait. It's an ultra top secret pin. I can't show that off just yet because I'm sure a few of you guys might know what that design belongs to and I can't say anything because we're not done with communication or anything yet. So I don't know what's gonna happen there. Uh, this is a deer, uh, really nice, all nickel, silver, and black, but a nice uh, uh, white tailed deer. That's what got uh, this motivated or um, inspired. This one was really cool, it's caribou. Uh, my dad's been at caribou hunts in the past uh, uh, and, and he's traveled a bit and woodland and tundra caribou, but I really like that pin design. It was really something else and I have have uh, had a lot of hunters come to the shop and buy knives or buy them off. I went through a whole stick of this pin. It's a bugling elk, the brass and nickel silver, so that was really slick. Uh, so that was a really popular knife. A really popular pin, so that's why I wanted to get another one. And then, uh, let's see if we got, you've seen the initials in the past. Uh, the I've had initials, of, you know, I get, I had CS and uh, my buddy Chris, he did a couple of knives in it. Uh, you've seen this Helm of Awe, I think I've showed you guys in a previous video, you know, a few months ago or a year ago. That was a really nice design. And although my wife and I, we don't have cable television, we don't watch or follow the show at all, it seems like it's really popular in that Viking lore and the Nordic theory is this pin here. Some of you might recognize it if you're Game of Thrones followers. Everybody's really giddy about this one. They really like it. I thought it was pretty cool. I don't know what any other designs. I never took the time to learn about the different uh, uh, design elements and such, but uh, this one was pretty neat, so I got it because I just thought, that's just a cool design for a knife. I just, I thought it was really neat, so. Uh, oh, and you guys have seen this, the, the mountain with the moon scene. I'm actually working on a knife for myself with this pin. Uh, really nice, uh, very popular pin. Uh, again, as well as the tree. I've done several knives in it. Actually, I used up a whole stick. This is the second stick of, of uh, uh, this pin, and it's the uh, brass with the, the tree in it. Um, oh, yeah, I was inspired. There's a gal, uh, Becca Garris. Is, uh, she's on Instagram and on, on Facebook, and uh, I've been following her for a while. Her husband's a, uh, f a police officer, uh, so they get my support there, you know, twofold. She's outdoors woman. I really like that. Uh, does a lot of archery, and she's actually uh, sponsored by Bear archery to bear bows they they're actually recurve bows uh fred bear was his name originally he's passed away a long time ago but uh between her and a gal i follow on on uh, um instagram it, she goes under the, the name pnw uh underscore huntress and she's out here uh in washington state near me and uh we always cross uh we miss we're like ships in the night we pass i've been to some place she was and then i go someplace and i find out she was there uh, but she's really into archery. My daughter loves archery. So does my son. But I got this in uh, kind of like uh, um, inspiration of the Fred Bear and the bow hunting and stuff. So that was really neat. And then uh, uh, I think at the recording of this video, I'm working. Well, I'm working on a, uh, a knife. I got to finish it up at the recording of the video. Um, I sent him on a knife and he wanted a couple of changes. So he sent it back. I got to make those changes and mail it out to him. I'm not sure if his video is going to come out or what happens. But... You guys might recognize that pin. I can share this at least. I'm just not gonna say the name just yet, but that's pretty cool. That is a badger. So uh, I like that design. That's really slick. So, but that is it. There's only one pin I can't show you in there uh, is because uh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that. That's uh, a tight guarded secret right now. I'm supposed to make a knife for that organization and uh, that band and uh, um, not sure if we're gonna what's gonna happen with that. So hopefully it does happen. Hopefully I can do it this year in 2019. That'll be kind of neat. I'm excited about it. But I just wanted to share the pins with you with you know the pictures and stuff like that to show you what I'm offering and the changes going on here at CK Knife and Tool and I, how I'd just like to really be able to offer you guys uh, a lot of things to help customize your knives, help them make them yours. Uh, so and this is also a shout out to my buddy Alexi because uh, without his. Uh, um, Hard, hard work. I mean, the guy works long, long hours and uh, um, really great customer service. At least my experience has been great customer service, but you have to be patient because he is a one-man shop like me and he just works crazy hours. He's out in Siberia and that's where all these pins are made. So, Alexi, thank you very much. Um, it's uh, Custom Mosaic uh, Pins. I think it's uh, how he goes by or, or uh, um, Custom Knife Pins, something like that. I. I, I forget what the Facebook or the Instagram handle is because I just know where to go. And I've been using Lexi for two and a half years now. 
and by far a really, really hardworking guy and uh, uh, great customer service on my part, but it's about a three to four month wait. So when I order pins, if you're ordering a knife from me and you want a design made, um, it takes three or four months just to get the pin. So that really delays the knife because I gotta make sure I get the, the right size pin to be able to finish the knife because I have to drill that hole a certain size. I just can't make everything and glue it all together and just wait for the pin to show up because I have to make sure I have the right size drill bit. Uh, most all these, actually all, pretty much all of them are right around that 10 millimeter. Uh, so that gives me a letter bit. I think that's a, uh, um, uh, a WX, it's a Y bit I think it is, is what I use to make most, most of these. The new Warrior Poet pin, that's about a six and a half to seven millimeter. I'm gonna have to get a couple of letter bits and, and millimeter bits to kind of drill it because you want that hole to be just a thousandth of an inch bigger so you can get the pin in there and allow room for a little bit of epoxy to, to bond but not leave such a big hole that you got a big black gap around your pins. That's not good. Again, thank you. Uh, the video probably went a little bit too long but I do appreciate your patience. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. It really does help. It keeps me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket. And uh, look out for the next video, gang. You take it easy. Have a good one. Bye.